Hi guys, so today we are going to do a fragrance video. Uh, the fragrance videos on my channel are like the most popular, so I am doing another one. So this will be my third fragrance video on this um, channel and fragrance videos are so popular now. I don't know, um, I guess because of COVID, you know, people have just been splurging on fragrances so much and honestly I have I have been too it's just been I don't know I just got wrapped up in all the hype and now I'm like completely obsessed with fragrances and I'm so like that's just another obsession that I just have so I decided to do an add-on to my collection um so I did a, a full my collection video of all the fragrances that I had bought in or I had collected in just one year um, not all of those fragrances I bought or collected in that one year but mainly mostly all of those like 20s however many I think I had like 20 or 21 fragrances um, I had collected in that one year so um, it's been about seven or eight months since I filmed that video I did it in like June or something like that so I have um, still been like you know collecting fragrances so I wanted to do an, an add-on of what um, I have added to my collection since then so if you want to see which fragrances and actually these have become some of my top favorite fragrances well more for the winter um, these are like more my winter favorites so I guess you could call this an add-on to my collection slash winter favorites you know what i'm wearing most of the time during this time of year um so i mean that's a long title but <laughs> we'll condense it somehow but um the first fragrance that i added to my collection since that video is actually the valentino um Vose viva intensa i think is um how you say it but um yeah i have the original and then um yeah the intense smells just as good to me honestly i don't see much of a difference but i think i do like the original better i mean honestly though i wear both of them equally but i think the other one i think because my boyfriend complimented me the one time that i was wearing the other one and he hasn't said anything about when i wear this one so i think that's why maybe i like that one more but honestly they're both really really good very just sexy fresh womanly just those vibes i don't know you just feel so sexy like i don't know i don't know how to describe it but such such um a good fragrance like so so good so um added that on and then um when i went to new york in october i bought these two at the same time so i bought the uh versace crystal noir now i'm a perfume girl all the way i am not an eau de toilette girl but this eau de toilette right here she's that girl like this is like my clean sexy scent like this is like one that i can wear and i know it says noir for night but like if you have on like just a really chic like dress or something like that it's just such a clean vibrant sexy smell it's like a clean sexy smell i don't know how to describe it but i'm horrible at describing it actually but just like such a clean sexy smell i don't know uh, i just i love that one and then the jador jador you have to have jador in your collection this one is like walking the new york streets like i had to buy this for new york like this just screamed new york to me like just screamed going to dinners and just honestly i had just finished the uh sex in the city series and this is just this is my this is what i imagine samantha wearing like if you have seen the series this is just what i imagine samantha's fragrance to be and honestly it's like oh so good 
so 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 good next I bought the Valentino born in Roma this is like a sweet rocker chic like if I wear leather pants or anything like that like this just gives me like fierce night on the town I'm going to F your man vibes I don't even know but this just like if I was like riding on my man's on the back of a man's motorcycle or something I don't know that's what just this reminds me of maybe because I've seen the commercial but the smell is literally but it's like sweet too and it's like sweet and sexy and I don't know just biker chic so yeah I really really love this one um, and then next I have the YSL Libre Intense I do want the original Libre but the Intense just has like a sweeter, more vanilla vibe to it. And that's like right up my alley. But this is just so sexy. Like this is like, I mean, I wear it to work sometimes, but this is really reserved for like my man. Like this is like, like, you know, like this is what you want to wear when you know, you know, you're trying to get him to buy you that expensive purse or something like that. I don't even know. But it's just so strong it's like strong fierce independent woman like just so 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 good i'm like obsessed and now this one this baby last but not least is new to my collection now she has a little story because i am not fond of any and I know it's crazy but I am not fond of any of the Carolina Herrera good girl fragrances like I do not like any of them except for the very good girl like when this came out I was so shook at how good this was because I had written her off I literally had written her off I was like no these just do not work with my body chemistry but this one this one is like citrusy but sexy at the same time but you can wear it in the winter so this isn't necessarily a winter fragrance this is an all year round fragrance so I have fragrances that are all year round too which I really want to invest more in because I have a lot of springy ones that are very floral and things like that but I also have a lot of winter ones as you can see that I would only wear in the winter time but this one is definitely like you can take her anywhere and so Oh, and then she was sold out like for a very long time so I had to like get my hands on her as soon as she came back in stock um and yeah this is just I'm so excited to have her in my collection and just look how cute the bottle is I'm sorry but like the original fragrance bottle is really really cute because it's like all blue or whatever or all black or whatever but still like I just it's like so good and it sprays at the top right there and comes out there this is just I'm just really really excited so those are the six fragrances that I've added to my collection um since I did that um my last fragrance video so you guys know I'm still building and building and building my collection because this is an obsession that I'm not getting over anytime soon um, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this and tell me what your favorite winter fragrances are so that I can try them Because um, I still want to try like some of the Kayali fragrances and a lot of the fragrances that they sell like exclusively at Sephora So I'm really really um, you know getting my collection up there and everything like that But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video Leave any comments down below that pertains to any fragrances that you think I should try that you love that I mentioned anything like that I would love to hear and thank you so 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 much for watching and um yeah bye guys I'll see you in the next one